Alligators don't like to be petted. I am Melton, son of Carpenter Mary. Daddy Carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom Mary Ann, I am the son of Carpenter Mary. I get to make parables. This is my Tommy parable series about Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fellow, average worker of the unseen business, the oriental unseen business, and the Chinese streets. They value blind obedience and Tommy's boss, Wu, asked him to stick his right arm into a wood chip. You've seen him on the streets. As a test of loyalty, as a management test, Tommy passed that test. He stuck that right arm in the wood chipper. He's always been blindly obedient. Lefty, the left arm, saw what was going on with Righty, was of course surprised, and jumped off. Wise thing to do? If you see something bad happening to somebody who can be the right arm to you being the left arm. And it's true of people or of groups. Because yes, this is about the unseen business. The streets are fixed. And where they have gene pools of, fe of people being one person, taking turns going in and out of shoes all over the world. And they also have a whole lot of uh, hierarchy of uh, groups and subgroups and... Uh, yeah, quick uh, streets definition, anything that uh, you don't see on the news or in pop culture books, magazines, or, but you might see it around you all the time. And uh, yeah, it's wise to jump off in our fun street fiction, pick up your phone, it makes a video. And make a bit about uh, your streets, your unseen business, what you might call it. You uh, don't have to worry about making to the evening news because, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be part of that. You don't have to worry about considering your street resume. Make that video the only you can make about the streets, the unseen business, whatever it is you might call it. You don't have to worry about making do even news unless it's supposed to be there. And if it's supposed to be there, you damn sure better be making that video because the top of the street is me. And they are speaking through me with this uh, Tommy Parable series about not listening to stupid as he feeds righty into the wood chipper and jumping off. Now, you've seen my LA Skyline Saint Cestus. This ain't for the day. Let me show you my cards and get to Tommy. <clears throat> he got a promotion and yes, he won his girlfriend's heart. At the Snake Pit here in LA, go figure. Popular dance club, I don't know if that's the actual name. He um, won his girlfriend's heart and she's at home. This parable doesn't involve her. It does involve all the folks he's bossing around at work with and he's on his way to work. When, as it always happens, somebody asks him, how'd you end up missing both your arms? And he doesn't want to tell them that he's stupid. And he stuck that right arm in the wood chipper. And the left arm jumped off. So he uses the reasons he gets from um, his AA meeting at the bar. Uh, yeah, Amputees Anonymous. And he usually likes to use Hezekiah's reason, Hezekiah's Amis, and uh, he fell off the wagon. And the next wagon over, yeah, Amis country, ran over his arm and he lost it. And he, he, uh, they asked why, couldn't they reattach at the hospital? And he said, no, they don't have hospitals in Amis country. He was lucky to have the... Uh, the girl down the street who... Uh, was good at sewing, so he didn't, you know, bleed to death. But he's using a different reason, and he had gone through Louisiana, Bayou Country, on the way to visit, uh, yeah, Rhea's grandpa in Alabama with all the good cat recipes. I don't have time. I'm going to work to keep this under 15 minutes, and it's already five.
I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to try and do that every day. Till I get caught up. Yeah, that's the eye growing anew. Smaller brownish circles disappearing. This part here is missing now as I've taken some vitamins past year and this part's covered with kind of whitish. It can be browner, be whiter, depending on the day. And uh, yeah, it's genetic carpentry from the son of carpentry. Dad himself taught me, don't try that at home. But somebody asked and he uses a uh, another AA meeting at the bar story and he says I was once again uses it for both arms when the guy at the AA meeting was uh, in Bayou Country and he uh, had the arm taken off by an alligator so Tommy kind of adds to that he was uh, it's not um, it's not uh, Bayou Country out here in California. So he was at a petting zoo. And you guessed it, pet, petting two alligators, and, uh, and neither one of them liked it. So he, you know, ended up missing both arms. He tells that 260, and then he goes in to his building where he works. Uh, he likes to, you know, get a cola with a straw, and then... Uh, Kick his feet up, watch the three stooges as his uh, employees do all the work. <clears throat> but as I told you a couple days ago, was it? About uh, yeah, Hussein. Tommy's in charge of erasing Barack Hussein Obama's past connections to. Uh, Oh, terrorism. Terrorist groups in the Mideast and Saudi Arabia. And he's in charge of uh, erasing that. Anything vaguely representing Hussein. They don't name him Hussein while it's a Muslim guy, especially when he reaches out to the Muslims first thing in office and then backs off of being Muslim because of the backlash. He's in charge of erasing, and yes, uh, it's the Osama rumor that Obama is Osama's son. I haven't had any comments about it in the nine and a half years. I've been talking about the rumor. I picked it up, made a video series out of it. And uh, haven't gotten one comment about it by phone, mail, internet, and those almost a decade now. And no, not one Flight 93 check in those 10 years of asking as well. We people must be the reporters, so 9-11, Flight 93, check and post in five. And let me show you the five you can post and repost as you make your own 93 check videos telling everybody to try and call me. Make a video of America's Hijack Lifelines. We the people must be the reporters. They're not doing their job. Oh, well, it's easy to do. You got a phone. You make a video of the guy next to you, the girl next to you, the person next to you. Their family's lifeline not working as you try to call me. I recently put, uh, oh, two and a half, three weeks ago, put every call to and from this uh, phone right here making the video. For the past two years, and no, not one in nine years. No 93 checks, no certified, no non certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS. If you're going to mail me, it sounds like they got some distractions outside of their closed window. Yeah. Make that video. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. And if you tried to call me with a 911 flight 93 check in nine in the past two years, look for that last video. And yes, some of you out there can get the actual phone records from from the phone companies. Do that. Call me from every police station, every fire station. I don't know what I did with the third, the one I usually use, yeah, here you are. Make the video, every military base, all across America and the world. Make that video, whatever you get when you don't get me, post it. Remember you hear that siren, see how quick you are? You gotta have under a minute. 
if you want to make a 93 chick video for Instagram. Hear that sound? Get out your phone. Tell everyone to call John Milton Brady. Make a video. They got the timestamp on your phone. They got the number dialed. Be the reporter. Call me up in front of all reporters. Network news anchor, local news anchors, any and all in the public eye. Get their reaction. To America's lifeline, Stan Hijack. Remember, that's your lifeline to that thing there, that fire engine. Make the video, post the video. Repost and repost those fives in that World Trade Center responding image. It was out here in California with the remembrance tour, as I remember. I took my photo in front of it. Make that video of whatever you get when you don't get me and post it. Say uh, you don't know why, but you think it might have something to do with them placing for real. This isn't just my funny Tommy parable. Them actually placing someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Hussein. Do that in a minute. Well, you can do this quick. Try to call Melton. Make a video of your family's lifeline not working. It's going to be boring. A phone ringing. Every message is busy signal. It's not going to be boring. If you need a fireman, please for a minute. Censorship's boring. Make a video of it anyway. It's a video of fraud. Whatever boring thing you get when you're calling up countless other customers, that is uh, money out of your pocket, your gates livelihood. It's your spectrum livelihood. Whatever is a big name in your business, it's them getting the business when your lifeline's hijacked and yeah, you can't get and reach them to have them be a good customer for you. Now, um, let me get back to Tommy because I did the parable about uh, Osama bin Laden in Hawaii years ago when Barack Hussein Obama was a teenager and wanting him to uh, to go to Harvard and he didn't want to go to Harvard. He moved from uh, during those formative years to be closer to his dad out there in, uh, in Africa, in Kenya, Africa, where they, uh, well, Africa is where they got a lot of folks were in that convalescent hospital from hell. I had to stay in for a year and a half after losing 80 pounds in one month recovering. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a nice change from Africa to Hawaii. So he wanted to stay there and go to Hawaii University. But his dad, Osama, put his foot down and said, I need you to uh, be uh, go to Harvard and then explain he's going to attack America from the outside with one arm. And this is a part of the, the video I kind of left out, I think. So I'm going to go into a little more detail, and that's what Ching's watching as Tommy goes into his office and he chases him out to, to go get his cola. And he's about to turn on the three students, and he's watching that that video they got posted somewhere that they have to uh, look for elsewhere. And yes, erase Hussein's past. Oh, forget about his uh, ties to his dad and the. Uh, the Saudi Arabian groups, yes, I spent three years in a place with a Muslim because it's the only place I could live in. The only one I could reach by phone. Was that Muslim cleric who uh, jetted off to uh, not Hawaii but uh, Saudi Arabia just before? Not the one? Oh, that's the other verse. Undo whatever was done during those uh, eight years. Oh, here it is, I think. Rebuild what uh, Barack Hussein Obama has torn down in America and our democracy. But yeah, I spent three and a half years there. Only place I had to live in, and yes, just before uh, they placed Hussein in our cowardly Hussein in our White House to stay in our democracy, he was jetting off to Saudi Arabia. So uh, yes, it's personal with me and the Muslim streets I've witnessed around here. Antique terrorists often past year plus I've been living here and uh, yeah I'm going to have to rest this on it's a uh, it's a little tired of the muscles growing a new pair of ice growing a whole new muscles bones organs whole new body uh, anyway Osama's telling his son Barack Hussein Obama 
every day I don't get comments about that. It tells me something. It should tell you something. He's telling me, yeah, it's not just about brute strength when you're trying to conquer the world. So it's uh, one arm is attacking with the uh, cowardly, deadly, violent, angry Husseins, and the other ones have to be attacking in that subtle way. You're going to be that subtle way, son, because you know, they can't say anything about you because you're of a special type, and you know, teenage practice, I'm of a special type. And Osama says, yeah, uh, you're Muslim, son. That's what we named you Hussein. But uh, you have to attack from the inside with that other arm for PC folks. Hiding behind good intentions, that kind of thing. And so I want you to do that. And yeah, I think if you uh, anger the good folks of the world enough, they're going to take both those arms off. They need to for the world, for the future. Make that video of America's High Tech Life Plan. So I'll start you up to the 16th. So let me show you those eyes. And yet, Tommy gets that uh, cola and three stooges going. And if he's in charge of erasing Hussein's connections to Saudi Arabia and terrorism, then, uh, yeah, that's a good thing. He's, he's going to be a buffoon of three stooges about it. And uh, get that truth out there so we don't have another turn the dark page in American history where they did that. And now they got the buffoon Trump in there as comic relief, but turn that dark page. And here's some dark eyes, very uh, dark brown about nine years ago. Darker than that back when they started changing in 96 or 1996. And yeah, there's that circle again, slowly disappearing. Let me show you in the bathroom there where it's dark and the flashlight will show up better. Make that video of whatever you get when you don't get me and come in person to tell me what you think of our hijack lifelines. Oh, it's a little, uh, a little hazy today. But you can see it's kind of white around the brown there and the brown looks a little swollen, a little bigger. Maybe it's just me. Slowly but surely, it's changing from brown to blue. Bill Jesus is a Macbeth house with these group of and eyes. Well, you can call it an opportunity house, but I just have to tell you that this Jesus is a house house because uh, it's in the fine print and there will be a test at the end. Build that house on truth. Make a video of truth. You put the best mankind has to offer in those homes, those cities, communities, really, not just like those places you go to on Sunday. Build that place on truth. Any good priest will, know, will tell you Jesus' house built on truth. We'll make that video of whatever you get when you don't get me. And come see me in person. Let me put you right there when you see someone besides me in flowers and skyscrapers and clouds and birds and sunsets. See someone besides me there, someone's torn down the great wall of evil around me. That has just me and all my imagery and places Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, cowardly, deadly Husseins. And it's also got the buffoon Trump there, and it manages a whole lot of stuff worldwide that they don't need to be managing. Make that video whatever you get when you don't get me. Come see me in person, tear down that great wall of evil, let me put you right there on my chest in that 24,000 plus images. Print me out, four by six prints, like the French family's photos, and I'll keep you company on that disc, on that nice, uh, on that copy tape. Come see me in person to be in that image. Tear down the great wall of evil and let's get started on those thousand points of light to inspire the future and the present to greatness, man. Right?